does anybody else do this in their house if you share a house with a partner if you gift each other a coffee mug I for some reason feel like I'm not allowed to use it because I gave it to someone else even though we live in the same house <laughs> does anybody else do that and this morning I was like god I really wish that I could use that mug but it's not mine I got it for Lyle for Christmas and I was like what the hell <laughs> nobody cares and everything we have in this house is basically shared <laughs> so like what the heck i'm getting ready to do my makeup i was actually come back to me come back to me uh i was actually about to start a little fun makeup tutorial i just want to have a really cool looking out of the box spring look for my instagram I've got my castor oil pack on and I can't show it to you because I'm wearing a dress so I'd be lifting up my whole dress in front of the window but at some point maybe I'll show you. Can I? Maybe a little bit? I have it around my belly and then there's these things that snap on the side. There's two of them and they just wrap around your stomach. I just let it like rest over my stomach and it says you can leave it for up to an hour. So it's probably been about 30 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna film this. Mm. I'll be back. I went a little bit more avant-garde than I had expected, but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow of whatever is coming into fruition, whatever you're creating, just go for it. I had a couple of moments where I thought, this is taking a wrong turn. <laughs> it happens a lot when I do really creative makeup. I'm thinking, girl, are you gonna wash this off and start over? And I always say, and it's my golden rule in anything I'm doing when it's a little bit out of the box, is keep going, keep pushing, change your perspective, look at it a little bit differently, give it a moment, give it a chance, and it'll turn out cool. And I think this actually turned out pretty neat. I've been watching the Netflix show Glow Up, which is the makeup competition. I just start watching a lot of content and things that I feel like are kind of where I'm at. And I was just talking last week about wanting to explore theater makeup, maybe. I would even just like, like to one time come in and do like a backstage experience, like while the play is going on. I just think that would be so fun. Um, but yeah, I did butterfly wings on my eyes for a spring look that's a little bit different and unique for me. I had fun making this like neon yellow eyeshadow because I have actual li liquid liners that are neon. I'm allergic to them. So I used my good old faithful Maron mixing liquid, which I can mix with any eyeshadow that I have. The uh, Norvina palette has some really beautiful neon colors in them. I have a couple of these palettes and the neons in these really do come out like pretty bright if you get them wet. I know that I'm not allergic to this and you can use this with any eyeshadow, mix it up into a paste and you create a homemade eyeliner, like a homemade liquid eyeliner. And I just think it's such a cool way to utilize your palettes. If you have a lot of makeup like I do, I have so many makeup palettes. So the options are endless when you have the Maron mixing liquid. You can use it for so many different things. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, this came out pretty fun. Okay, we've got some dog fights going on now. We have a new doggy guest, this one. This is Lilith, and she just had the zoomies in the backyard. She's keeping my dogs in shape because they chase her, and she loves being chased. <laughs> like, all she wants to do is be out there. Went through the garden and de-weeded. Got the lavender, kind of some support because it was really sagging. All this room to plant some new stuff. It doesn't feel like spring yet. It's taking a long time to get to spring. It feels really cold. We have like one warm day and then it gets freezing again. We still have the heat on. What is she rolling in? Look at her bouncing around. She loves it out here. And this is that dress that I upcycled. I've just been waiting for the right day to wear it, but it's actually too cold. So as soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna go put on something warmer. But it's just such a cute dress. I love this so much and I love that I upcycled it. It was so ugly, <laughs> it was so ugly. I think I just really made it cute. This is my favorite thing to do. Like, I love thrifting ugly clothes and upcycling it into something adorable. This makeup is a little heavy. It's a little heavy. I don't wear like smoky, uh, you know, liner often. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, my avocado isn't ready again. So I have some arugula and tomato 
with an egg and I don't have any microgreens currently so we just have uh, the arugula instead and it's on a whole grain toast seed like a seedy whole grain and uh, tomato so delicious and that's a little bit of mayonnaise on the bottom too I'm baking okay and whenever I bake self tan this whole area because it has had so many allergic reactions is permanently discolored when I put self tan on that's how messed up this is with my allergic reaction drama that I have with product. <laughs> this is where I had the bite lip mask on my lips and it ate my skin off. That's how bad, <laughs> that's how bad it was. Kind of like permanently, I'm permanently damaged, but only when I wear self tan, luckily. So if I don't put self tan on my face, you can't even see that. But for some reason it really accentuates it. Also, hi, it's the next day. Did I just start word vomiting at you? I'm so sorry had two cups of coffee already. Uh, last night when I was washing my face, I noticed I was really red on my nose. Now, I don't remember ever being out in the sun, except for that one short moment that I was sitting out in my backyard when it was cloudy. There's no way I got a suntan. There's no way I got sunburned from that. No way. It's ipsy time. My favorite time of the month. <sighs> That's not a song and that was off key. I was practicing singing last night in the kitchen because I heard Ariana Grande singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And I was like trying to mimic that sound like how she was, someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the, <laughs> cause someone was showing the notes and how the notes just go back and forth. And that was really helpful for me. Cause I was like, oh, the notes just go do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I was always going do, 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 do. Like I was all over the map. I think I want to take singing lessons because I think I have potential. I did actually, I was in choir. I was in choir. Ipsy, glam bag, regular. It's a regular with add-ons. Let's dive in. Coco Bond Damage Care Leave-In Mask. Oh, for damaged hair. Sweet, okay, I added this on. This is a full size, look at this, it's huge. I like how I do add-ons and then I don't remember what I got. So every time I open this box, it's like a surprise. Nice pump. So what do we do? We apply to clean wet hair before combing or blow drying. Well, perfect, because as soon as I'm done baking with this self tan, I will be needing to put in a mask. My husband also gave me some of his R Company mask that he didn't like. It was a leave-in that he was using and he didn't like it, so he gave it to me. And that is a expensive hair brand. It's more expensive, more on the prestige side. Pacifica is obviously not, it's a little bit more. Okay, so far we are uh, getting a zero star for packaging. The pump doesn't twist open or close. It doesn't do anything. Oh, but it smells really nice. It kind of smells like um, beachy coconutty flavor, but good luck getting a freaking stupid product out. Help remove excess oil and unclog pores. Deep cleanser. I don't really have a lot of excess oil, but First Aid Beauty, full size. So it's like this red gel looking color. It actually lathers into, into the skin. It starts to lather a little bit like into a, a clay mask look. This I did add on and I got so excited. I got this one in the Ipsy when I didn't adjust my tone so it was still sending too dark of a color. When I self tan the way I did today, I can wear this. I just have to really brighten with conceal, but this is six and that is like way too, you can even see it from here, way too dark. And they had a four and it was 50% off. This is why I love it, because I love the feeling of this. This is their, it's the Beautiful Skin Foundation. So it's supposed to be like a medium full, but it just, oh, it is so pretty. I love it. So I really, I got so excited because now I can put that six just like in my makeup kit. And honestly, every time, I'm just gonna match real quick. It's perfect, oh, yes. Okay, this is the best. Like this is my new favorite foundation, honestly. When um, my Ipsy orders start coming in, I'm just gonna, every time, I'm gonna go to the add-ons and just add another tone until I have a full, like, decent sized collection of this type of particular foundation. If they continue to offer it in the add-ons, because it's half off. That's unheard of for Prestige Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I love that. Now we have a House Labs by Gaga brow pencil. That'll work. And this is the Fluid Eye Paint by About Face, but I believe that these 
can be used. Lip, eye, and blush from what I remember about this brand. I want the blue and the green because they just have such amazing range of like color of these little creams. We have a lip liner duo by Misha Beauty. Gold pack. I'll be honest, anytime I see a lip pencil, I just put it in my cart because I feel like that's the one thing I'm always looking for and running out of, like the most. It's like a deep brown mauve. Ooh, I like that one a lot, actually. And I like the way it applies. That one was in the name Beloved. And then this one is Worthy. Ooh, that's pretty too. Look at those. Those are both in colors that I would totally wear. Oh, I'm so stoked. As you guys know, I am part of the affiliate program with Ipsy. So if you want to try this for yourself and get these add-ons where everything's super cheap, I always link it below whenever I open it every month. So whenever I say Ipsy and I'm talking about it, that link is below so you can try it. I'm such a fan of Ipsy. I just, it's so exciting to get makeup every month. I get what I need if I can't find it on Ipsy, but if I need something, I have a list. Face wash, lotion, hair care, a straightener. So they give you a list of things to pick from. When you pick your choices, it sends you to the add-ons next. And the add-ons are anywhere from deluxe sample sizes for like $3 and then like a hair straightener you can get for 20 bucks. And it's like a really nice brand and nice quality. So you just can kind of tick things off the list of needs by using those add-ons to get things at a discounted rate. So if you're a budget girl like I am, if you like to get things on a deal, I'm a deal, I love deals, so I will always look there first. It's really helped me keep things stocked and continuing to try new things. Here's the final thing, I already took it out of the box. I'm babbling. Violet Voss Pretty in Paradise. I love this banana palm. It's almost like it looks like my Monstera. That's what my Monstera's leaves look like. A uh, really pretty palette here and oh it's got blush fun wouldn't that be such a pretty vacation palette you could just use like one color over the eye so pretty okay yay that was fun so I'm gonna continue to bake I'm gonna go edit I don't know when I will pick this back up I might um, a little bit later today we have to go do our taxes so that's like so boring <laughs> but we might go for a walk after that or something I just wanted to show you guys really quick before I get ready the makeup so this is the brow pencil the eyeshadow from the pretty in paradise this brown all over the lid and then just tap this on over top really like quick easy a little bit of a liner I use the lip liner I use the hair treatment which is in my hair at the moment and it's just air drying a little bit so I can go blow dry it oh and I have the Charlotte Tilbury foundation on which I love so much it matches my skin finally I feel like I was wearing a dark color and I was trying to adjust it and it's a doable thing if you have a color that's just a hair darker than your natural tone you can really brighten it up with powders and concealers but it's a pain in the butt and I'd rather have a perfect match and I feel like this one matches me so much better and I mean I did tan so I'm gonna darken up a little bit but it's okay. It still looks really good. And I like the liner a lot. And I put it with the, I've been wearing this all week, the Lipforia Natasha Denona Mauve Cream Gloss. So beautiful. I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am dressed and I am ready. And I tossed on a little hat. But I just wanted to read this to any of you who would want to get an update. Dear Sienna, the results of your breast imaging exam demonstrated findings that are probably benign, probably not cancer. Following standard care, we are recommending you return for a follow-up imaging exam. Based on your images, the left breast is extremely dense, which lowers the sensitivity of mammography. Your mammogram indicates that you have dense breast tissue. Roughly half of all women have dense breast tissue, which is normal. Dense breast tissue may make it more difficult to evaluate your ma'am. We are sharing this information with you and your health care provider to help raise awareness of breast density. There's an update on the, um, the boobage. If anybody was curious, I've got my results and that's the result. I got dense boobs. <laughs> anyway.
I just felt myself up. We're gonna go to Lowe's and look for a new possible washer and dryer. We've been in need of one since we've lived here. We've had the same old washer and dryer that came with the house when we rented it. So we're gonna go shop for washer and dryers and then we have to go do our taxes. Other than getting the house ready for our guests this weekend with my family, I've got some things to edit, work to do, lots to happen, and then I gotta go to an event tomorrow night. So life is so exciting. Lots of social stuff, which is so not me. <laughs> I've had had an epiphany today. I've been having a lot of these lately thanks to therapy. I realized that one of the reasons why I don't remember a lot of things that are happening in social environments was because of disassociation, which I've mentioned before. I disassociate when I'm too stressed out and then I have memory loss. Sure, maybe I'm an introvert a little bit, but I am social and I do like to talk to people. I love talking to people and being around people, but I get drained. Today I had a little bit of epiphany. What if the reason why I get drained is because I've been masking? And masking is like acting. It's like putting on this whole facade. And so keeping up that facade is very tiring. Because of this past weekend, I had tools to help me stay present and I was literally just there to just be me and confidently lead with myself as myself. And I didn't mask. I didn't put on any fake anything. I just was like raw. <laughs> And I think that's a lot because I didn't drink and I had all of these therapy tools and I'm in this exploration discovery phase of myself and sobriety and all of that. And I'm really learning a lot about myself and who I am truly as a person. I can't believe it's taken my whole life to do this. This is why I regret drinking so much as I did early on because I wasn't learning these things and I could have been getting like way ahead of the game. <laughs> if I had just like stopped early on. But I was just really blown away with the idea of this, like that perhaps the reason why I would get tired after being around people for too long is because I got so exhausted with pretending. I didn't feel drained after last weekend. I felt exhilarated. I felt so excited. I felt like, wow, I really made connections. And I felt like I was authentic. And that to me is so huge in my journey as like trying to be a happier human. But let's go run some errands. We got a washer and dryer. We successfully did our taxes. We got Chick-fil-A salads. And listen to this god awful sound. Good thing we got a new washer and dryer. It's like it new. Freckles. This needs freckles. I can see the freckles on there. And they're not even on there yet. That's how you know. You need freckles. You have no idea. You have no idea how close I am to cutting my bangs. Like, I used to have them. I saw some photos of my bangs like that and I was like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and when they get to this point where they're poking me in the eyeball, I, I can't get past it. Cause then otherwise I have to have my hair like this. Anyway, hello and good morning. I am actually getting ready for the day. We have family coming, um, but we have some time before they get here and we're hoping that the guys deliver the washer and dryer before everybody gets here because it would be a little bit of madness if it all happened at once. So fingers crossed they bring the new washer and dryer and install it in time. Um, but yes, we have quite a day of activities happening but I definitely wanted to show you guys the new washer and dryer just because it's like exciting and I don't want to leave you hanging with a cliffhanger <laughs> Ooh, cliffhanger Ooh, can't wait for next week's reveal <laughs> but also um I just wanted to say too I did not go to the event yesterday and I even included in my newsletter and I talked about it and I talked it up I made it a big deal in therapy oh my gosh I have all of these events and I didn't end up going. And the only reason is because I realized I was really behind on work and um, the event was just like a freebie thing, a free thing to go to, to promote. And yes, I, I could have done that, but with everything going on today and then having my mother-in-law here visiting for the next two days, and then I have, 
I have a lot of work coming in. I felt that like tight feeling. Do you know that feeling when you're like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Honestly, I don't regret not going because I was just, my cup has floweth over one of those situations. So I was able to sit on my computer and get a lot of uh, stuff just caught up in preparation for this coming week's busy, busy. Um, but yeah, and also just prioritizing the fact that family's coming and the house needs cleaned, which I'm still going to have to continue on doing today. I didn't even finish. I have to go clean the bathroom. My least favorite. It's like, do you guys even, do, do you want me to just post these even if they don't have kind of like a climax? Like I feel like they have to have something that makes them, I have to make, I, I center it around something. Even though I vlog every day, I do still center it around an activity, whether it's thrifting, upcycling, um, a makeup idea, like blog concept, something. There's always a, a subject, and this week's subject was taken out of the picture. So let me know if you guys want to see these or not. But if the subject of this is a new washer and dryer, <laughs> I don't know if it's worth posting. I'm wearing that really cozy dress, and actually, I'm wearing compression socks. I have been having really bad uh, foot pain at night. It's been keeping me up. So I feel like this should maybe help at the end of the day. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to wear compression socks. I need to Google that. Cause I don't know if it's something you should wear all day, but I'm gonna put them on at least for the first half of the day while it's still a little chilly out. So not even, I haven't even had my coffee yet. It's still eight o'clock in the morning. Cold kit. Your little baby sunbather. Look what Lyle just did. He just replaced this hole in the wall. <laughs> what was it? What was well, it called? I made it less suck. <laughs> We're getting a new um, robot arm. New these. New tubes and robot arms. They, they rang me up for this. So we do still have the same thing. And this and this. Okay. And then he, this was broken before so he went and bought a replacement and then put this cool tape around it and now it has like a vent on the other side and it keeps out the critters which is major Won't be a big deal. handy boy and a morning beer an alcoholic beer <laughs> while we wait for the coffee to brew is that the stuff that tastes like guinness i kind of want to try that like in a Guinness drink, like a snake bite. Is there a non-alcoholic cider? I guess that's just apple juice. <laughs> or is there a non-alcoholic cider? Because you know how cider and Guinness is a snake bite? We started watching Fallout last night and uh, we liked it. I played two Fallout games and it's one of my favorites. Top, top five, top five. It's my update for now until we get the replacement. It's annoying. The thing in the middle where you can't even put like a comforter in it to clean. Blankets, even, even comforters. Even load washer dryers now don't have that dumb thing in there. Yeah. That was like such an old school way to do laundry. Yeah, it was. I'm excited. Might, might as well get out an old washboard and a basin. They're here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, look at these beauties. We have to replace two tiles. <laughs> so we luckily have some backups, but look at how beautiful it is. Never been so excited about doing laundry in my life. I'll probably always enjoy it now. I'm so excited about this washer and dryer. You have no idea. You don't realize how much you've like put up with something that like sucks for a really long time. The washer button would get stuck and so you would come to like get your clothes to put in the dryer and it would still be wet. It was old and beaten up and it was just time. I feel like I'm going to be so excited to do laundry now and forever grateful that we were able to get this one. So that is super exciting. I just, I'm so excited. I'm heading to the grocery store right now. I'm getting just, you know, stuff for my nephew, um, just like juice boxes and stuff like that because he's five. I always like to have like a fresh bouquet on the table for when people get here too. Just, you know, all the things to make the house feel welcoming and we're gonna do the salmon. Like they have them pre-marinated in the deli section and 
roasted potatoes. It comes with a sauce. And you just throw everything in the oven and it's done deal. So I don't really have to cook. All I have to do is just toss it in. That's my favorite thing to do. Let's just go grocery shopping. I'm done talking in this parking lot. Vintage dream.